Description of the Peruvian guinea pig. Representatives of the Peruvian breed are majestic guinea pigs, with long, flowing hair, a truly royal pet. Although Peruvians are very energetic, friendly, and lovable animals, there are a number of important things to consider before adopting a guinea pig. Taking proper care of Peruvian guinea pigs will take regular time. Often, coming to a pet store, an ordinary customer, admiring a guinea pig with long hair, assumes that in front of him is none other than a long-haired, or, in other words, Angora guinea pig. How to distinguish a guinea pig of the Peruvian breed from other breeds, and how competently is it to call it all the same? From the history of Peruvian guinea pigs. Where do these gorgeous guinea pigs come from? And why do they have such long hair? Due to their unusual appearance, someone might think that they were specially bred in the laboratory, like the same skinny, for example. But in fact, the Peruvian guinea pigs emerged as a result of natural evolutionary processes. Their homeland is South America, and more specifically, as scientists believe, countries such as Bolivia, Argentina, and, of course, Peru. Hence the name of the breed. As early as the 16th century, Peruvian guinea pigs were brought to France by European traders, where they became exotic pets and were very expensive. Peruvians came to Great Britain and other European countries from France in order to later become a fashionable novelty and win the hearts of breeders around the world. Pigs of this breed have gained wide popularity in Europe since the middle of the 19th century, and at the end of the 19th century they were first demonstrated and photographed at an agricultural exhibition in Paris. At first, there were only three recognized breeds on show in America, the smooth-haired, the Abyssinian and the long-haired Angora. In the 1930s, the name Angora was changed to Peruvian, which introduced some confusion that persists to this day. Although in some countries the breeding of guinea pigs of the Angora breed continues, with standards developed specifically for this breed. For Peruvian guinea pigs, standards and criteria have been developed. Now the Peruvian breed has official recognition in many countries. In our country, it is also a fairly popular breed. Many kennels breed Peruvians, although it won't be easy to find this breed in pet stores. Main features of Peruvian guinea pigs. The Peruvian guinea pig looks very aristocratic. Its long, straight, and silky coat forms a kind of mantle. And the gorgeous bangs give the Peruvian an elegant and mysterious look. Sometimes, the bangs can be so long that it seems that in front of you is not a guinea pig, but a wig. The most noticeable characteristic of the Peruvians is their long coat. It is not surprising that the world record for the longest hair in guinea pigs, almost 51 centimeters, was recorded in the Peruvian guinea pig. Visually, the Peruvian guinea pig can be distinguished from other breeds by the following parameters. Long hair on the back forms a parting along the entire spine. On the head, the hair falls in bangs on the muzzle, sideburns are pronounced, which also have a forward direction. On the sacrum, there are two rosettes that set the growth of hair from the sacrum to the muzzle. The growth of the coat should be straight forward towards the head. The Peruvian guinea pig is obviously no ordinary pet. These pigs have unique physical characteristics that make them special. For example, Peruvian pigs can grow quite large. They usually weigh more than any other breed. But despite their larger size, they have an unusually small head compared to other breeds such as the American. Often Peruvian gilts are compared to the Sheltie breed because both pigs have long hair, but in reality these gilts are very different. The coat of the Sheltie grows back in a continuous cascade to the rump, while in the Peruvian pig, the hair splits into a parting in the upper part of the head, and the direction of the coat is reversed from the rump to the head. In part, the Peruvian pigs are similar to the Abyssinian, but the former have a much longer coat and only two rosettes instead of six to eight common ones in the Abyssinians. All Peruvian backs can grow up to 50 centimeters, belly hair will grow to only 15 to 17 centimeters in length. Maintenance and care. Of course, Peruvian guinea pigs will be more demanding in terms of grooming than, say, short-haired breeds, so it is not recommended to purchase such a pig as the first guinea pig. Also, you should not have Peruvians as pets for children. Instead, buy a simple smooth guinea pig for your son or daughter, there will be as much joy and much less hassle. The Peruvian breed is developed by enthusiastic and are experienced breeders with ample time to care for them. Hair care of Peruvian pigs. Peruvians need daily brushing and brushing, and some owners even do it twice a day. For grooming your hair, you can use ordinary children's combs, which you can buy at any baby store, or special brushes and combs that are offered at a pet store. If you do not plan to participate in exhibitions and shows with your pet, then it will make sense to regularly cut the ever-growing coat to a comfortable length so that it does not get dirty in the cage, so that the hay does not get entangled in it, and so that it is convenient for the pet to move around. If participation in exhibitions is a common practice for you, then you will have to come up with special devices to hold the wool. 
In general, bathing guinea pigs is not recommended, but an exception is made for long-haired breeds. Therefore, a bath once every one or two months will be quite acceptable. It is only necessary to use a specialized shampoo for rodents for washing or to do without it altogether. Feeding Peruvian Guinea Pigs In terms of diet, the diet of Peruvian guinea pigs will be no different from that of other pigs. Vegetables, fruits, hay and fresh grass, special pellets, dry food, that's the whole menu. All guinea pigs are herbivores and absolute vegetarians. Do not forget that the pig should always have clean drinking water in the cage. Read more about feeding guinea pigs in the section Nutrition The Nature of the Peruvian Guinea Pig. The character of a guinea pig usually does not depend on the breed, but due to their aristocratic nature, the Peruvians are distinguished by a meek and calm disposition. Moreover, Peruvians are very curious little creatures. Some guinea pig breeds are very shy when it comes to getting to know a person or exploring the world around them, but this is not at all the case for most Peruvians. They are very fond of walks, they are happy to explore new places and locations. The Peruvian guinea pig is a very friendly breed, sensitive to the manifestations of affection and care. If you spend at least a little time every day playing or exercising with a pig, its attachment to the owner will be very strong. They are quite talkative, and having such a pig, you can fully appreciate the entire sound repertoire of guinea pigs. Peruvian guinea pigs are a very social breed, they suffer especially acutely from loneliness, so it would be nice to have a fellow tribesman for them. The best option for keeping guinea pigs is single-sex groups. Reproduction and offspring. These animals, like everyone else in their form, do not tolerate loneliness, so it is better to keep them in pairs. Then it will be possible to avoid all risks when breeding offspring, for example, rejection of one of the partners during crossing, aggressive behavior, and so on. If you want to breed Peruvian guinea pigs for exhibitions or for sales, it is better for you to consult or even entrust this business to experienced breeders. They will be able to fulfill all the requirements to maintain the purity of the breed. Despite the fact that puberty does not occur in them earlier than six months, males are ready to mate at the age of 10 weeks and females even earlier, at the age of five weeks. It is still better to cross them at the age of six months, but the age limit for offspring and rodents should be no more than two years. If these intervals are violated, then the offspring may be sick and the female herself may suffer. Pregnancy in females lasts an average of 68 days. In a litter, a pig can bring from two to four cubs. The female will be ready for the next crossing in two weeks. The colors of the Peruvian guinea pigs. The most common colors of this breed include white, dark brown, light brown and even black. Less common is gray wool. The color can have a wide variety of colors and patterns. There are one color Peruvian guinea pigs that are known as self-Peruvian. Two colored Peruvians are also quite common, but the tricolor Peruvian guinea pig is already a rarity. Summing up, we can say that Peruvian guinea pigs are striking in their beauty, sophistication and elegance, they truly deserve the podium at exhibitions. How to buy. If you want to get a real purebred Peruvian guinea pig, then it is better to buy it at a pet store. Buying from hands or via the internet, you risk becoming a victim of scammers or simply inexperienced people. In a pet store, in addition to buying a purebred animal, you can consult in detail with the store employees about the conditions of its maintenance and care. There you can immediately purchase everything you need for your pet, from the cage to food for it. Well, if you still buy an animal from your hands, then pay attention to some of the nuances. First of all, for wool. It should be clean and not confused anywhere. Even in the area of the anus, the fur should be clean, do not hesitate to inspect the animal's fur everywhere. Also, the wool should not climb, it should not contain any parasites or insects. The animal must have a sparkle in the eyes and they must be dry and clean. There should be no mucus or accumulated dirt around the eyes. Likewise, take a closer look and examine the mouth and nose of the animal. The pig itself should be pretty well fed and in a good mood. These are very cute and sociable animals, unreasonable lethargy and behavior is unusual for them. Do not hesitate to ask the seller about the pedigree of the animal, about its age, when and how many vaccinations were given to the animal. If the seller answers all your questions and the animal feels comfortable in his hands, you can safely buy a pet. The most suitable age for the establishment of these animals is five weeks. Young animals have not yet completely moved away from their mother's milk and it will be difficult for older animals to take root in new conditions. Rodents can go up to $1.40 per animal, depending on their pedigree and awards. Simpler representatives of this breed can be purchased for an average of $5 to 6. But the most important thing to consider when buying any pet is that you or your family members are not allergic to pet hair.